Michael, in your um, opening comments, was it you or your colleague from Statistics Canada who said that you added a question this time on skills attained through volunteering? Yes. So that's a new, could you talk a bit about your findings on that? Uh, well, it's not a new question. It's a question that we did in 2000 and we repeated it in 2004. Uh, now I'm trying to recall uh, what, the, what those questions were. I think I've got the slide here, which I hid in the instance of time. Um, so I'm going to cheat. And instead of work on my recall, I'm going to find the slide. Um, one of the interesting uh, pieces, which actually didn't even make it on this slide, is that, um, and there's the, there's the slide. Um, so you can see that the uh, interpersonal skills, communication skills, organizational skills, uh, fundraising, technical or office skills, also about 23% report that they get uh, job-related skills, which isn't in this slide. We think that that could be, uh, become an even more important, uh, that Canadians may be looking for those opportunities even now as we have a higher unemployment rate. And in fact, in the past, we've seen that youth are more likely to report that uh, they that they get job-related skills, or that they have found. And I don't think that question's in this survey, but they have found a job because of their volunteering. So, good question. Yes. I'm Rosemary Byrne. I'm from the Board of Volunteer Canada, but I think I'm going to switch hats because I'm also the vice president of the Réseau de l'Action Bénévole de Québec, and I'm wondering about these statistics that always appear so low in terms of Quebec and in terms of what kind of question do we ask. Uh, because the Quebec Network did a, a, did a sort of a study on um, how Quebecers do volunteering, and uh, Quebecers often don't see themselves as volunteers. They see themselves as activists. And I'm wondering um, what kind of questions we're asking in Quebec. Uh, the question, we don't ever use the word volunteering and when we ask about it. We ask whether you do unpaid activity for an organization. Um, and so that's, that's essentially the question in a nutshell. And then, uh, actually, it's not quite that specific. Then we have a list of activities that we provide. Um, the activism questions, I can't recall whether that's one of our prompts or not, which, is, uh, which may be a good point. Yeah, good. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Charlene Boudreau, I'm going to switch back to donations, a financial donation. It, does the report provide for background as to the reasons in declining total number of donors? I'm thinking uh, the total, the, the donor rates held constant, first of all. Um, say 84% is virtually unchanged. Oh, okay. But uh, we do ask questions about motivations um, for giving and for volunteering. We haven't seen much change in those motivations. We also have a set of questions around barriers. Uh, and there wasn't really much, uh, there hasn't been much change around barriers. There was, a, there was an interesting change in barriers for volunteering in, in that they all kind of increased by about four or five percent. Is that right, Dave? Except in that mark. So there, but we don't didn't quite know what to make of it. Um, so just maybe some inkling that there might be something happening on the volunteers reporting barriers. And the kind of barriers volunteers report is uh, not having enough time um, and so forth. Well, I think that's a great spot for, uh, for me to close uh, and to thank you and then to uh, introduce, actually I'm not closing, Ruth McKenzie is closing and I'm really pleased to be able to introduce uh, Ruth McKenzie who's the President and CEO of Volunteer Canada. Thanks Michael, that was uh, captivating uh, and uh, uh, this sector has been uh, waiting a long time for this data, so it, it was very exciting to hear that. This is a critically important information for those of us who work in the sector. Volunteerism and charitable giving uh, are, are important issues that we face. And this data tells the story and paints the pictures of how Canadians interact with, with charities and nonprofits and with the sector as a whole. Um, and perhaps most importantly, it provides data around which all of us can build the case a case for funding and supporting and participating in our, our charitable component of, a, of, a, of Canada's vitality, really. 
Um, the, the issues that uh, were brought forward are, are important for all of us to keep in mind in the work that we do. Increased urbanization, what are the implications of that on volunteering and giving? Charitable uh, giving and the implications uh, through uh, faith organizations and declining participation in faith organizations in this country. And of course, immigration is a as an issue that we're all facing. The thin base of support is, is critically important, uh, um, but it also suggests some opportunities, again, with new Canadians to foster volunteerism in our baby boomer generation to ensure they continue to be engaged, and of course, to build those values in our young people to ensure that they participate into the future and, and become donor, donors and, and volunteers. So uh, I'd like to thank uh, StatsCan uh, for their support of this survey and it's great to work with Imagine Canada as always and I think our two organizations and StatsCan working together is a great example of the sector working uh, in concert with uh, government. And I'd like to thank all of you for coming. We have some uh, staff and volunteers outside from Volunteer Canada handing out copies of the report, Can Caring Canadians Involved Canadians. I'd invite you to pick up uh, a copy and uh, most importantly I'd invite you to stick around after about a 10 minute break for our annual general meeting. So thank you very much.